Hi folks, back again, Bathrobe Chronicles number 54, and this was most likely going to be pretty darn ridiculous. Uh, what I want to talk about is the word professional. Uh, I don't know this to be true, but, well anyway, I've been around for quite a few years, as you can tell. And as a kid, uh, I don't remember a whole hell of a lot, but I think when, when folks talked about professionals, I think there were primarily talking about doctors and lawyers and possibly uh, CPAs and, and folks like that. Uh, I think that's what uh, they used to talk about when they talked about professionals. And I'm sure, you know, engineers and, and other, uh, for lack of a better word, occupations like that. Uh, nowadays, it seems like everyone is a professional. I mean, no matter, I mean, so, what in the hell does it mean to be a professional? Well, I truly do not know. Uh, you know, we have professional salesmen, professional salespeople, professional this, professional that. I think for, for some kinds of things, for instance, I'm a photography enthusiast, <laughs> whatever in the hell that means. But I think if you're a professional photographer, I think the main... Uh, the main difference is that you get paid to do what you do. Now, that doesn't in and, of, in and of itself mean you're better, you're a better photographer than someone who doesn't get paid, uh, but yet we call you a professional. You might have a, a thousand amateurs out there who, you know, devote two, three hours a day to photography, go out every weekend and snap photos, and just have some just terrific stuff that they do. The stuff that would be better than a lot of people who call themselves professional photographers. So I think to some extent, when someone calls himself a professional, really what they're saying is that they uh, make money at whatever it is that they're doing. Doesn't necessarily, in and of itself, mean they're better. Doesn't mean that they study more. It doesn't mean they try to improve their skill or their craft more. It just means they get paid. Now, this is a good one. I work for a small agency. So, uh, for lack of a better term, it would be a government agency. Now, not long ago, a couple, three years or so, they decided we were professionals. In other words, uh, the work that I did we are professionals. Now, what they claim is that since we are professionals, that we don't get paid overtime. <laughs> yeah, okay, I know. Sounds ridiculous. Sounds ridiculous to me. We also don't get time and a half for holidays, much less, you know, double time, which a lot of uh, uh, employers uh, pay double time for holidays. You know, like if you work Christmas, if you normally make, you know, 10 bucks an hour, you get 20. We don't get any of that. Now, if you look up, let me see, I can't remember which website it was. A professional, the way they described it for for pay purposes, I believe, was someone who is uh, highly trained, uh, uh, who can work without supervision, who makes, you know, decisions on their own, and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, we actually <laughs> do that. <laughs> may not do it well, but we do it. Uh, so, the weasels who we work for, uh, they seemingly get around having to pay us time and a half, having to pay us double time, you know, or time and a half for holidays. Uh, they claim that because we're professionals, they don't have to pay us overtime. In other words, if our shift ends at 12, but we're somehow caught up on something we're doing and we work until two or three in the morning, you know, that's three hours that we're giving them uh, that we don't get paid for. <laughs> the irony is they treat us like dirt. <laughs> they surely don't treat us like professionals. I'm not even sure why I started this one, but I just thought it would be interesting to talk about what, what people mean by professional. Uh, nowadays, everyone is a professional. I don't care what what their job is. And this doesn't mean that I'm maligning uh, folks who, 
let me see. Uh, let's just say garbage men. And I have nothing against garbage men. I'll tell you one thing. If we didn't have garbage men and women, we would be in big, big, big serious trouble. I mean, we would be in trouble. But is there such a thing as a professional garbage man or garbage woman? I don't know. I mean, are there garbage men and garbage women out there who, who like always are thinking how to better pick up garbage and what to do with it and on and on and on? I haven't a clue. I don't know people who pick up garbage. Uh, but I think, I think this word professional, I'm not even sure. I mean, you know. Uh, I, I I just I, I, I just don't know. Uh, maybe we need to get back in the old days and just say uh, that professional meant a certain type of job. In other words, a job that required uh, a heck of a lot of education and so on and so forth. I know one thing, those weasels I work for, uh, who remain nameless, <laughs> I normally refer to them as them and they, you know, those people. Uh, the ones up there who are pulling the strings and don't do any work and don't produce any product or don't do anything. Uh, no, I think they've shafted us, really. <laughs> they call us professionals, uh, treat us like dirt, and pay us nothing. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not even sure how I started on this. For some reason, I just felt as though I had to rant and rave a little more. So as Pat Gondell would say, Peace, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, don't let your employer call you a professional because they're really screw over you. Take care, folks. Bye.